Welcome back gentlemen to Wise Men Company. Today, I'm finally going to do it. I am going to put out a video on painting your rifle, rattle canning it, whatever you want to call it. Tons of requests for this in the past. I've never wanted to do it because there's already a ton of videos out there. It's not rocket science on how to paint your rifle. You don't even have to be good at painting. You don't even have to be detailed. There's not a lot of effort to put into it. You can literally throw it on the ground paint it, cover some important parts so that it doesn't get paint on it, and voila, your rifle's painted. Uh, people have been painting guns since the dawn of time, painting weapons since the dawn of time, so it, it just didn't really interest me. But I have a product that I want to show you to use in conjunction with painting your rifle. So it is a product from Veil vale Design Co. It's my buddy Zach over there, uh, and it is kind of like a stencil kit. It's stickers, really, uh, vinyl stickers. Um, this just makes painting your rifle a little easier. In the past, you would have to use some sort of like shrubbery or netting, something to give it texture or pattern, you know, when you paint it. Um, or you would have to take little pieces of tape, cut them up, little tiny pieces, stick it all over your gun, and then peel the tape off when uh, it was time to, uh, when your rifle was dry and it was time to peel it off. So. This product right here is going to save you a ton of time. I'm obviously not going to paint it on my desk right here, but I wanted to give you a tabletop view real quick before we go out in the field and I paint it so you guys can kind of see this stuff up close and how it works. Different designs, you can get it in Tiger Stripe, Multicam Pattern, um, pretty much whatever flavor you want. Also, if you go over to Vale Design Co., you can see some of the other stuff he does over there. He does wraps, vinyl wraps, so here is a Multicam Tropic one for my EOTech. I don't like when companies put their logos, like big white logos over everything, so this is kind of Kill Two Birds One Stone. I get some camo, and I get to cover the logo. Uh, looks cool, makes it pop a little bit, but uh, Veil vale Design Co. also does wraps as well. So again, if you don't want to paint something, you can slap one of these on there on your uh, EOTech or whatever you have. There's a lot of different wraps for a lot of different things. Here's a light. So Veil vale Design Co., Zach's a good dude, good company. This is where you can source all the stuff. Okay, let's get to sticking. Okay, so I want some black to peek through. So I'm not going to paint this right now. I'm going to put the stickers on right now. So that way, when I paint over top of it and peel the stickers off, the black pops through, if that makes sense. If you want to do multiple colors, you'll put stickers down, paint, let it dry, more stickers down, paint, let it dry, and then peel them all off. You're always letting the undercoat pop through with the stickers. So I chose this multicam pattern right here. And what I'm going to start to do is just stick these all over the rifle in various areas. It doesn't have to be pretty. There has, it doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to it. Uh, just get creative with it, have fun. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm gonna scratch this gun all up anyway when I use it. And honestly, it makes the gun look cooler when you have a rattle can on your rifle and then it starts to get some cosmetic blems to it because you've been using it. It's got that battle-worn finish, you know what I mean? People pay for that stuff. Not here, it's earned. Okay, so let's just start off. I want to use all the small ones. I like a little black peeking through on all my guns. You'll see that as kind of a trend. So here's one. You just peel that off, and I'm going to stick it right in there, right there. Super easy. Literally, your children could do this. Um, and what I'm going to do is just continue to coat this in stickers, however thick or thin you want, both sides of it, wherever I'm going to paint. And then I'm going to take it outside, paint it, and probably put more stickers on it and paint it again. Guys, I should note that the more patient you can be with this process, the better the paint job will turn out. Because if you can let this stuff dry, like good, hard, dry, no moisture to it, no dampness, the stickers are going to peel off a lot better. It's not going to take any paint with it. You're just going to get cleaner lines. It's going to look a lot better. So I'm not the most patient person in the world. But I do know from experience, the more patient you can get, be with a rattle can job, the better it's gonna look initially. So patience is a virtue. All right, as you can see, got my stickers on there and I've used about a third of the sheet roughly. And don't feel like you're pigeonholed into these shapes. Like if you need to cut them and make like, say that big one, like half, you can totally do that. Again, this isn't, this isn't science, it's art, it's gun art. So, you know, get creative. We're gonna take this outside and paint it. 
and that's gonna be the first coat and I'm gonna let it dry nice and nice and hard nice and dry crusty then I'm gonna put more stickers on it paint it again let it dry and then I'll probably pull everything off I'm gonna do two colors on top of it so that's gonna give me technically three colors on the gun black a green and probably a brown not sure yet let's go outside paint it and you can see all right guys outside and as you can see this isn't an exact science i have this jammed into a traffic cone it's going to hold it nicely got my muzzle device covered uh, i don't have any optics or lights on this thing yet took the brace off i'm going to use matte Sma spanish moss if you're really concerned about camouflage, you probably should stick to matte and don't do anything glossy. If you don't care, obviously you do you, boo-boo. But first coat is going to be this green color and stickers are on. It's pretty moist out here this morning. Like it's, it's pretty humid. So hopefully this takes, I'm gonna give this a lot of time to dry before I put more stickers on. First coat's going on though. You want to make sure you hit it from all angles because obviously there's a lot of shapes and and angles and pieces on an ar so like you might look at it one way and it might look totally coated but if you look at it from a different angle you'll see a lot of blank spots so you got to move around check everything i'm not so concerned with the grip because that's the first part that always wears off anyway my hands on it so I got a little paint on it, not a big deal. Um, like I said, it's the first usually to go. I like painting the buffer tube because it makes the stock or brace, whatever you have on the back, a little bit more rigid. It makes it a little bit more tight fit, just a little bit of a coating. And I just jammed an old mag in here that I use for training. This doesn't really work anymore. I just used it to plug the mag well. Um, so if this gets paint on it or whatever, it's, it's gonna be perfectly fine. All right, I got a nice even green coating on here. And we're gonna let this set for a while and then we're gonna put more stickers on, paint it again. All right, gonna hit it with the brown. Use a lot more stickers on this go around. If you remember, I used probably a third of them on the first, on the first layer. I almost used two thirds, the rest of the page on this next go around. Uh, just put them on a little bit thicker. I'm going to hit it with this brown, let it dry, and then I'm going to give it some more green accents uh, using some netting. Looks bad right now. Looks like it just got dunked in a porta potty. As you can see, I forgot to put my magazine back in. That's okay. It's not going not gonna to hurt it. Just make sure I don't hit that area. Okay, I got two layers of stickers on here still. The brown's pretty much dried. Uh, it's not tacky or anything like that. It's been out here in direct sunlight for an hour or two. I'm gonna use a laundry bag and this like, what kind of color was a, I don't even know what color this is. It's like goblin green it's called. I like to put a little bit of a flare on each gun. I don't like them looking like everybody else's. You know, everyone does green, brown, uh, you know, tan. I want something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of accent in here just on some different spots. Again, all the stickers are still on there. So when I pull everything off, some of this bag might be on the rifle, some of it might not be. And what I do is I kind of just drip it over top. Drip it, drape it. Kind of like this. And I'm just gonna hit a couple spots uh, that I think will be cool. Okay, after this last bit of paint dries, I will peel all the stickers off and see what we got. As you can see, that laundry bag gives some good texture to the rifle. Not all of that's gonna stay there, obviously, because there's still stickers on the gun. So wherever, wherever those uh, vinyl stickers get peeled off of, uh, there's gonna be a color underneath it. Okay, so let's start taking these uh, decals off or stickers. It feels pretty dry. It's been out there a while in the sun. 
it's going to probably be a pretty funky pattern and color, which is kind of cool. I like to, like I said, I like to do something a little different. So yeah, they just peel right off. Clean as a whistle. As you can see the, the paint, the original coating is underneath there. And I'm just going to continue to peel all this off. It's a little bit of work, but they peel off really easily. Um, it's not like you have to really get aggressive with them. They just peel right off. So I'm going to keep taking these off and we'll give you a look at the final picture. Okay, here we are guys, finished product. Not too bad, got some funk to it, I like it. Thing about rattle can is if you don't like it, you can just always paint right back over it. But uh, I got a lot of guns that kind of all look the same. So this one kind of wanted to just give it a weird, you know, swampy look. And I think I did it.